and welcome to The Bottom Line, where we dig deep into the main business and economic stories of the day. Energy diversification and clean energy transition are ongoing areas of Poland's focus. Nuclear energy is gaining traction here in Poland and can be perceived as more reliable when compared to wind or solar. Orlin Synthos Green Energy is working with GE Hitachi here in Poland to develop small modular reactors, or SMR, in short. Some view these as game changers in the world of nuclear energy. Others say they are overestimated, but to get into the details of what SMRs bring to the table, I'm joined by Wojciech Wrochna, Vice President of the Board of Orlen Synthos Green Energy. Good afternoon, and thank you very much for joining us. Good afternoon, and thank you for having me. So, let's begin with SMRs. How are they different from ordinary nuclear reactors apart from size? Uh, apart from the size, they're exactly the uh, same uh, as uh, big nuclear reactors. So, we're talking exactly about the same technology. Uh, we're talking uh, exactly about the same features. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, a part of the size, uh, small modular reactors uh, basically are uh, able to produce uh, electricity in exactly the same way as the big um, nuclear reactors. And this is uh, basically uh, very important when we talk about the delivery of the project because uh, very often uh, we hear that uh, small modular reactors are something completely new on the market. And to some extent it is true, but uh, we have to remember that uh, basically a small modular reactor, and especially the one that is designed and delivered by G. Hitachi, is uh, uh, another version of the reactors that were produced already since very long. So uh, I would say that, of course, uh, capacity of, uh, of uh, electricity delivered to the grid, uh, the size is, is different, but technically they're very similar to the big reactors. Okay, so there's a lot of hype about this. So I want to hear about your collaboration between uh, Orlin Synthos Green Energy and Hitachi. What is it that you intend to bring to uh, Poland's nuclear energy uh, industry and the market? And what budget are you working with? Uh, I think, uh, as I already mentioned in the, in the, in the previous, uh, previous question, uh, uh, G. Hitachi is one of the leaders in delivering uh, nuclear to the market since very long. So uh, already in the 60s and the 70s, G. Hitachi have been uh, uh, delivering, uh, building, constructing nuclear reactors uh, all around the world in Japan, uh, in Spain, uh, in Sweden, uh, in Switzerland. Uh, we have uh, working uh, boiling water reactors. That's the technology that is developed by, uh, by G. Hitachi. Uh, and it is a reliable technology. Uh, so uh, we have exactly selected G. Hitachi as a partner uh, because we think that this technology can be uh, brought to the market quite quickly. This is first. Uh, the second, G. Hitachi is a global partner and experienced nuclear developer. Uh, they have developed since very long supply chains. Uh, this is extremely important when we're talking about timely uh, delivery of the project because design is something important, but at the end of the day, uh, to have a project delivered in time and in budget, uh, you need to also have a supply chain and uh, have the possibility to smoothly uh, deploy the project on the site. So what's your budget? Budget. Yeah, what money are we talking about? Because money is a big issue when it comes to these SMRs. There are only so few of them uh, in the world. I think that, of course, money is uh, an important issue. But as I mentioned, uh, uh, G. Hitachi has uh, experience in delivering such projects. And because of the size, and because we are talking about developing a fleet of reactors, so not only one, two, or three on the side, but a fleet, we really think that uh, we can have uh, uh, synergies between uh, developing it on a different size. And I'm not able here to tell you what would be exactly the budget or what would be cost of uh, electricity produced by uh, small modular reactors. But according to our estimates, I can assure you and the public that it will be uh, a cost that will be affordable to the uh, final user of this uh, electricity. So uh, especially uh, when we're taking into account that a small modular reactor, I mean, in general, nuclear electricity, nu nuclear energy, is something that can be delivered uh, despite the weather uh, conditions. Uh, so if the, if the sun is not shining, we can still have this electricity. That's one of the big benefits, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly, it is. But I want to hear about the collaboration because that Polish factor is obviously very interesting to our viewers, especially here in Poland, but how soon can you go 
online and obviously there's that factor um, of uh, how soon you can go online but also government backing because there uh, is uh, there are rumors that hopefully you should get some backing from the government by early 2025 is that true uh, I mean uh, nuclear electricity uh, I mean nuclear projects are very complex uh, and uh, also regulatory framework for nuclear is very complex uh, so uh, this is why nuclear projects they need government uh, backing I mean uh, we need uh, have uh, government uh, supporting this project this is first uh, and uh, we are in talks uh, between the partners and we are in talks uh, with the government how uh, what is the best way uh, to secure uh, uh, the timely delivery of the project and I would like to mention uh, at least a couple of things I mean uh, of course uh, uh, we will be uh, looking uh, 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 and speaking to the government how uh, can we uh, stabilize uh, income from uh, producing of electricity from the production and there are uh, measures uh, basically very clearly described by the EU legislation like contract for difference uh, but on the other hand uh, a part of the measures like contract for difference, uh, tools like contract for difference, we also need uh, a stable regulatory framework. And we also uh, need the government uh, to uh, assure that the, um, uh, all authorities we are working with on a daily basis have uh, enough capacity uh, to work with us. Uh, because uh, we need to remember that a part of our project, there is another uh, uh, being developed, uh, which is uh, AP1000, so the big reactor. And for example, a Polish nuclear agency, the authority that is issuing uh, construction for license for nuclear power plants, I mean, they need uh, a capacity to work with both technologies uh, on the same time. Okay, so uh, are you able to tell me whether or not there is confirmation as to whether or not the government will be, will be able to financially support your project by 2025? Uh, I think that uh, 2025 uh, uh, may be too early to say that uh, the government will be uh, 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 backing uh, financially the project. Uh, uh, I think that small modular reactors, uh, uh, and this is something different when you're talking about uh, the, the big ones, uh, because of the size and because of the um, smaller cost, to very large extent, then can be financed by private parties. So uh, Olin uh, and Cintos are big uh, companies. Uh, to a large extent, they are financially uh, able to finance uh, these projects. But of course, we need state support. Uh, it will be a different type of support, so not a direct injection of capital like it's the case of uh, PEJ, so the uh, big uh, nuclear project. We only need, uh, uh, and we are asking the government, we will ask the government to, uh, to guarantee uh, to us that the, uh, uh, that the uh, legal framework is stable, uh, that uh, we will not uh, be exposed uh, to the large uh, volatility of the uh, market prices. And that's something that we are looking for. And we are able, uh, I think, that we are able to um, uh, have these issues closed in 2025. Okay. Um, I can't help but ask uh, about KGHM that yes. backed out of its SMR project at the end of 2023. How is yours different from theirs? Uh, I mean, I would, uh, I would rather avoid speaking about the other projects uh, and I'm not uh, aware of uh, any details. Uh, I know that there are, um, uh, there are different countries when this technology is being developed, not, uh, uh, mainly in, in, in Romania, here in Europe. Uh, but uh, um, the, the selection of the technology, which is BWRX300, uh, from the beginning uh, was uh, with a final uh, objective, uh, having it delivered by the uh, by the date that we have um, selected, which is around 20th. 2030 mm -hmm. uh, and um, and we are not uh, looking around uh, we are just focusing on on the next steps of the project uh, we are uh, focusing on a timely delivery of the project working closely with our uh, partners from G Hidachi but as well uh, we are working together uh, with Canadians and with Americans that are delivering uh, these uh, projects with exactly the same technology uh, in their respective countries so in Canada and in the US Okay, but also I'll be uh, probably a little bit difficult here, but I'm going to ask you about the New Scale project in Utah, which obviously, you know, their initial costs and in the end what, what emerged, 
it just didn't align. It was just too difficult to deliver. How is this project going to be different from the new scale, uh, well, essentially disaster? Yeah, we are relying here on uh, GE Hitachi technology. I mean, they have uh, long experience in delivering the projects and I do not want to criticize other uh, companies. Uh, I'm, I'm confident also that at the end uh, of the day, they will uh, deliver the project at the cost that are acceptable for their clients. But uh, uh, there is a slight difference between uh, BW RX300 and new scale technology. But do you have an idea of how much your electricity is going to cost at the end? Uh, we're sure that uh, we will have a, a megawatt hour at the price that is uh, competitive. So uh, we're of course looking to uh, to the government uh, to support us in the same that you know like the big project, uh, AP1000 guarantees a stable legal framework, but commercially uh, and, and business-wise, uh, we are uh, uh, confident that we will have um, uh, the, uh, the price that is acceptable for the clients. Okay, so you're certain this SMR project is gonna be the, the model, model I deliverable? Hope so. okay. I hope so. Okay, Wojciech Wrochna, thank you very much for joining us. Today. Thank you very much. And that was Wojciech Wrocza joining us today on The Bottom Line. Thank you very much for joining us on Business Arena. I was your host, Marie Kay. So join us on Friday at 5 p.m. CET on TVP World. For the latest regional business stories, check us out on X and on tvpworld.com. Coming up next, World Talks. Goodbye.